Bitcoin on Ethereum Coin BTC20 is proving an excellent advert for staking, with 54% of tokens now deposited into the smart contract. At the time of writing, $3,303,345 has been staked at a current annual percentage yield of 79.47%. According to the latest BTC20 website real-time dashboard data, BTC20 continues to hold its pre-sale price of $1 and is expected to steadily appreciate in price as yield seekers buy the coin to stake. However, the team announced yesterday that it had started a buyback program using funds raised in the pre-sale. So far, $70,000 has been bought. The BTC20 price is trading at around 96 cents, according to data on DEX Tools. The design of the BTC20 token mirrors the emission schedule of Bitcoin since 2011. So currently, 50 BTC20 are minted at a block production rate of 1 every 10 minutes. BTC20 is currently priced at 96 cents, at a slight discount to the presale price. However, token holders are likely to be beneficiaries when the price of Bitcoin starts to rise. Supportively for the Bitcoin price, the latest U.S. consumer price inflation data for July was 3.2%, as the rate continues to fall back toward the U.S. Federal Reserve's target rate of 2%. As a greener and more efficient version of Bitcoin that runs on the Ethereum blockchain and generates a yield, BTC20 is in pole position to gain as Bitcoin's price pushes higher. Falling inflation means less pressure on the Fed to increase interest rates, and that's good news for risk assets like Bitcoin and, by extension, BTC20. In addition, as the Bitcoin block reward having in April 2024 draws closer, based on past performance, Bitcoin is due for a new bull run as the minting of new coins slows. The BTC20 project has a DEX Tools reliability score of 99 out of 99 and no warnings arising from its smart contract audit. Also, the contract has been renounced, which means that developers cannot, for example, mint more coins at a later date. Buyers will also be pleased to know that there is no blacklist function in the smart contract. Blacklists can be used to stop specific addresses from trading a token.